check, check, check. Test one, two, and welcome to the Cardinal Nest. Boys basketball tonight between the Amory Warriors. The Amory Warriors and the Prescott Cardinals. Coming to you live from the Cardinal Nest here in beautiful uptown Prescott, Wisconsin. One, two, three, check. Cameraman Paul Most here with us this evening. Doing his usual fine work. Well, let's come take a look. Welcome to Cardinal Basketball, coming to you from the Cardinal Nest in beautiful uptown Prescott, Wisconsin. This evening the Cardinals will be taking on the Warriors from Amory, Wisconsin. Both teams coming in pretty uh, equally matched. Boys will be home twice this week, Barry. Middle border conference action. And we'll be back with the uh, starting lineups and the action in about seven and a half minutes. Get to the fridge, get stocked up, and get ready for some basketball action. Thanks for watching PCTV, Channel 16, Channel 18 in Prescott, Wisconsin. Cardinal Basketball brought to you by, now I don't have anything. One, two, three. Check, check, check. Two, three, four, five. Check one two, check, 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 check one two, check one two three four five.
I didn't bring anything.
introduce the starting lineups we'd like you to be aware of that the boys basketball. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Uptown Prescott in the Cardinals Nest. It's the 15th of January, halfway through the month already, Barry. Look out, time flies. And tonight, we're hosting the Amory Warriors driving down here for a little game against the Cardinals. Conference action finds the Cardinals 3-3 three and three in conference. Dead pack, I think there's three teams tied at 3-3. Three and three. Baldwin leads at 6, or Durand leads at 6-0. and oh, Baldwin at 5-1. Ellsworth is 0-5. So the pack, Cardinals are right in the middle of the pack. In the middle of the pack, and uh, sounds like the uh, Amory Warriors played uh, Durand pretty tough the other night up at their place. Lost Winning, losing by two points, is yeah. that correct? Yeah. And uh, so, uh, and I tell you what, you look at scoring, you look at rebounding of the top ten rebounders and the, the top six rebounders in the conference, four are Cardinals. The assist leader in the conference is the Cardinal. But the point scorers, uh, other than Clay and Nick, not so much. We've been really struggling to score points. Well, I think with uh, big Nick Jacobson in the middle, you know, he's a real space eater. They should be uh, one of the top rebounding teams in the conference. Well, I talked to Nick Johnson, Coach Johnson, before the game, and he said, well, I said, how long did it take you to get your union card last week? He says, I figure about the first four minutes we had our bricklayer's card. He said, we are Master Mason's card by the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, but defense and hustle and rebounding allowed them to win the game. Well, that can make up for a where you lack in other categories. And we're looking forward to a, to a good game here this evening, Dallas. All Here's right. the starting lineup for the Amory Warriors. Starting lineup for Amory number three is Michael Elbing. Number 11. We've got on the right page here, Cole Monson. Number 21, Jordan Lumen. Number 23, Justin Smith. Number 34, Kirby Puckett's old number. Josh Stewart and head coach Mark Lumen. All right, let's see what the Cardinals are going to bring out tonight. And now, introducing to you the Cardinals of Prescott. Number three is a sophomore guy. And number three, Michael Brookshaw. Number 23, Clay Seifert. Number 31, a junior, Alex Helmer. And number 31, Charlie Taysen. Number 31, Alex Helmer, excuse me. Number 30, Charlie Taysen. And double three, the little guy, Nick Jacobson. Head coach, Nick Johnson. Assistant, Sean Shipman, Mike Sobolewski, Gary Seifert. And Multitudes Conference record three and three. Cards are six and three on the season. Boy, in Dallas, the, the Cardinals starting three sophomores, uh, As always, which is kind of exciting in a way. We get to watch these kids for the next couple of years as they grow into their roles. Nick Jacobson, the only senior in the starting lineup. Whereas the Warriors come out with... Uh, Three juniors and two seniors. All right, here we go. From the Cardinals' nest, middle border conference action. The dead of winter, June 15th. People are dreaming of Mexico, Hawaii, all these places. Well, there's a basketball game here, and there's been some awful good college games on, Barry. Boy, your uh, Gophers have been up in the into the Hornets' nest a couple of times this last week, huh, Dallas? Yeah, but they played well, down by 25, and come back to lose. They were within three with 18 seconds. All right, here we go. Cardinals control. Charlie tipped out of bounds. Cardinal ball. Tipped out of bounds by Michael Elbing. Cypher to inbound. Brooks on the outside. Nothing, nothing. Just getting underway here. Helmer. Jacobson. Looking to go inside. Goes back up and down. Ooh, you don't miss very many of those. Charlie Taysen with a rebound. Nice job by Charlie. Helmer coming in with a left hand. Nice job, Alex. Boy, and I got to think that uh, Nick Jacobs is going to be able to push his way in the lane like that all night long. 
That big body of his. Stewart on the outside looking in. Nothing there. Elbing. Lumen on the outside going to the corner. Coming down the baseline. Nope. Tipped out of bounds by a Cardinal. Warrior ball. Charlie Taysen there with the quick hands. Well, he's got quite a wingspan down there on the baseline, too, doesn't he? Yes, he, he does. Yes, he does. Elbing. Out on top to Lumen. 2 nothing Cardinals here. Just about seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Back over to Elbing. Seifert hops out. Looking to hop into a passing lane. Elbing again going inside. Clay steals it. Going to the left side. Looking for some help as it tipped away by Cole Monson. Whatever decision he made, it wasn't the right one. Monson puts it up from the corner. No good. Tayson with the rebound. Brookshaw pushing it down the floor. Elmer, Tayson, Seifert out on top from three-point land. It's nothing but net. Five-nothing Cardinals. Well, we talked about it earlier in the year, Dallas, that in the past, sometimes the Cardinals would pass up that uh, open jump shot. Boy, this year, they, they're looking to shoot the ball. I'd rather have missed 19 of them than not take them. You can't score if you don't put it up, huh? And you turn it over. Elbing out on top. Stewart. Stewart puts it up. Ooh. You know, they had they had a ball stuck up behind the backboard before the game after <laughs> warm-ups. Oh, and it's... Okay, I didn't know how they called that. I guess that makes sense. We just learned new rule. I'm smarter than I was when I walked in there. Still hope. Elbing out on top. Going inside. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Left his feet. Justin Smith does the head bob, and he gets jumped on by about three Cardinals. Nick Jacobson, I think, probably the worst damage. Things happening in town tonight. The uh, Prescott Area Historical Society has a meeting tonight I'd like to be at, but uh, I wish they'd change your meetings to uh, Wednesday nights. But Oop. Rolled first one across and out. All right. Justin Smith putting up his second one. Nice touch on that one. All right, Brookshaw tipped out of bounds by Elbing. Warriors putting on a press right away. Oh, here we go. Three on one. And bunny time. Well, that's pretty much how you write it up on the, uh, <laughs> on the chalkboard, isn't it? You hit the floor once. And I think that would just draw the defense. Stewart on the outside. Smith. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Up and in right. by Michael Elbing for three. Stolen by Sipe. Nope. Looking down the floor. Tasting again. Ooh, Helmer with the left hand. Of course, he is left-handed, so he that, is left -handed. that makes it a little easier. <laughs> Sounds good when you say that, though. Yes, it does. Stolen by Charlie with a poke check. Mike pulls it out, pushing it down the floor, being followed by Smith. Helmer again. Does the stop and pop. Alec up and down the floor. Timeout on the floor with the score. The Prescott Cardinals 11. The Amory Warriors 3 here on PCTV Channel 16, Channel 18, Prescott, Wisconsin. And remember, we're brought to you by our Loyal Boosters Club. They are the businesses who have been gracious enough to help bring you Cardinal Sports. Uh, business meetings, school board meetings, and whatever else we put on cable television is brought to you by the Boosters Club. Turnhouse Chevrolet, 
Hard Hands and Mind Child Care in the North Acres Business Plaza. First National Bank of River Falls, the Prescott Branch. Croy Insurance in the bank building. Prescott Insurance in downtown, the Wisconsin Credit Union in the North Acres Business Plaza. Town and Auto Family Dentistry, Prescott Chiropractic, and Most Pharmacy. And, of course, the one lone out-of-town guy, Lowberg Law Office in Uptown Ellsworth. All right, we're back to live action. 11-3, Cardinals by 8. About halfway through the first quarter. Out on top to Stewart. Ooh! Three-point land by Jordan Lumen. Many people who uh, did not like the three-point shot when it came into basketball, I think it's been one of the greatest things that they put into basketball. Sure makes it a lot more exciting. It does. It does. And, it, you know, they got to the point there before the three-point came in that you'd put your big – you'd just get three seven-footers and play volleyball. Right. And, uh, well, it changes the whole dynamic yeah. and, and uh, strategy of the game, too. And on now, you can have uh, six-footers still playing in the NBA because they can handle the ball and can shoot. But before, they were kind of getting sized out. I'm trying to think of the little short guy from the Houston Rockets, who was also talented with the baton, of all things. His mom made him do it. All right, Elbing. Stewart. Elbing puts it up. Partial block. Now, is this from history or recent? No, that's from history. You're oh, talking back. It's like Spud 70s. Webb? Is that who you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yep. 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 Up and in. Had to dig that one out of the archives there, Dallas. Yep. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. Wow, he's a scrappy, scrappy he player underneath there. He did an awful good job for being outsized by everybody around him. Foul. But good hustle and good effort by the Amory Poyers. They aren't backing out of this. I'm trying to decide who he called that foul on. If it was going to be 23 or 21, he never finished. 23. First foul for Smith. Second team foul on the Warriors. Three minutes to go, first quarter here tonight. Oh, didn't quite get the pass. Elbing stepped in the way. All the way over top. Clay pokes it away. Picks it up and in. Cypher for two. Well, that kid's quite an athlete, isn't he, Dallas? Yes, he is. We got a, actually a flock of them on the floor here. Clay's a good football player, too. Jacobson up and in. Working him over on the inside. We've got. Height advantage plus, I think, a little strength advantage. Well, it's kind of like the girls' game last week. What, who did they put? Was uh, Harmon when and, they uh, played Durand? Yeah. Tamara Hart. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Trying to think of it. Yeah, it was Harmon. Harmon and uh, the other Lincoln lady. They were good. Yeah, and big. Tayson with the rebound. 18 to six. Cardinals up by a dozen. Brookshaw taking it by him. Pulls it back out. To Charlie. Alex, better look out to give him a national park pass. Kind of a frustration foul there. Eighteen to six, one forty-six to go. Brookshaw, Seifert, Mike Koval, Zach Sobolewski, and Joe Haas on the floor for the Cardinals. Yeah, the other half of the Cardinals' offensive line, Joe Haas, yeah. comes in. Oh. Seth Luer, number 31. Ooh, Cookie almost with the takeaway. Elbing. On the inside, going to Smith. Lumen up and in. 
Yet young man's pretty good athlete himself. He's oh yeah, good football player also. Joe Joe with the rebound, puts it back up again. Well, Cardinals get three shots. I see why they're leading the conference in rebounds. <laughs> Well, I don't envy anyone down there trying to move Joe Haas or Nick Jacobson away from no. the bucket. Kowaleski pries it away. Michael slows it down. Hooks off from outside. No good. Rebound by Luer. Back to Lumen. Colin Scholes outside, back to Lumen in the corner. Running around the outside. 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. Cardinals up by 10, 18 to eight. Eight seconds. Lumen wants it himself. They're gonna, yep. Try double teaming him, but couldn't get there. And the time runs out and at the end of the first quarter. The score is 18 to eight. Cardinals up by 10. Well, the Cardinals doing a good job there on pretty much all aspects of the game to open up the, to open up the quarter there, Dallas. I thought they did a good job. Uh Cardinals up 21 to 8. Boy, if you're the Warriors, that makes you look at Charlie Taysen a little differently too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Charlie can shoot that three-pointer. Look at that wingspan. Oh, but, but, just so nobody gets hurt in places, well, okay. I'll pop it up there and Michael chase it down. Mike calmly works it through, swinging around. Seifert coming in the lane. Nope. Pretty good spin move, but just, just couldn't quite finish. No, a little bit out of balance coming out of it. 21-8, Cardinals by 13. Smith on the outside. Going to Elbing, or excuse me, Cole Monson. Rebound, Jacobson. Oh, oh, Nick lazy Carter. pass. Yep. Tell you what, the Warriors don't back down. They stay right at it. Elbing from the outside, his second three of the game. Twenty-one eleven here. Just starting the second quarter. Home action from the Cardinals. Next. Oh, point blanker. Ouch. Boy, that'll just make you crazy. It looked too pretty, didn't it? Really nice inlet pass. Oh. Helping on the outside, down to the corner. Up by Stewart. Nope. Rebound, Schultz. On the outside, Elbing. Boy, too many looks at the basket that trip. Absolutely. Nice job by Colin Schultz there because he's in among our big boys and he's uh, rebounding right with it. 21 11, 606 to go here in the second quarter. Three, three team, team fouls. Sorry about that. Difference. Three team fouls on the Cardinals, two on the Warriors. Schultz puts in the first one. 
Rebound, Helmer. Cards by nine. 21 12. Brookshaw bringing it across the half court line. All the way around. Ooh, around and up. And Mike going for the old fashioned three pointer. Kind of reminds you of his brother Billy there for a second, didn't he? Yes, he does. Just wondering if, if those guys finally went back to college yet. They get off like, you know, three months at Christmas. Oh, isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, up and in by Michael. Now they put the J term in there and the Y term. And <laughs> well, the young man across the street goes down to lacrosse. I don't think they go back till the 22nd. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, okay. I don't know, for what they paid to go to college, I'd want to get my money's worth. Come on. Quit picking on all those administrators that have added in the last 10 years. They couldn't teach a rock to lay still and shut up. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, at least when the U uh, was <laughs> caught with their fingers in the cookie jar, they decided to hire a consultant to figure yeah. out what was going on. <laughs> Lure with the ball on the outside to Lumen. Back over to Monson. Down in the corner. Stewart puts a rainbow on it. Helmer with the rebound. 24-12. Cardinals up by a does. Koski and Haas waiting to come in along with Soboleski for the Cardinals. Michael puts up a floater. Tip back out. Nice move by Jacobson. Clay lines her up. Stewart. And that was an NBA three-pointer. Absolutely. Monson. Stewart looking inside. Nothing there. Down in the corner. There's Justin Smith. Back out to Stewart. Coming to Lumen. Mike is sticking him to him like a sandbur. Back to Lumen. Four minutes to go here. Cardinals up by a dozen. Stewart has his partial block by Jacobson. Just but Charlie Tate did a good job that time of not leaving his feet. He yep. could have fouled him. And he still influenced the shot, I think. Charlie puts it up from outside, rolls it across. Nobody on a weak side rebounding position, 24-12. Lumen coming in the lane. He's got oh. a knack for the ball. Boy, and three Cardinals there for that rebound, Dallas. That's really nice to see. Well, they chased the ball down, and it's timeout on the floor with the Cardinals 24, the Warriors 12 on BCTV. One home game in the Cardinals nest next week. All right, 24-12, here we go. Hans out on top, looking inside, going to Helmer. Back out to Koski. Jordan puts it up. Jordan is a nice offensive player. When he gets on a roll, he's going to light him up. Watched him in JV last year. He's a good man to bring on the floor. Plus, he usually adds some energy. Lumen clean block by Helmer. Mike on the back side and Helmer on the front side. Not very many places Mr. Lumen could go. 24 12.
From the outside, Newt rolls it across again. Sobolesk. Oh, they missed three of those point blankers here. Come on, guys. Put the bunny in. Throws up floater. Foul on Sobolesky, his first fourth team foul. How many pounds do you think uh, Cole Munson's given up to Joe Haas? <laughs> Did you see him run into that pick down here at the top of the key? Boonk. I think Joe Haas, well, during football season, he was coming in at about 308. Oops. And he looks like he's trimmed down a little bit since then, but. <laughs> oh. I'll bet you that Cole Munson, he's probably about 140 with a couple of rocks in his pocket. Yes, <laughs> that's about it. All right, second one on the way by Stewart. Puts that one up and down. 24-13. All right, Brookshaw looking for some help. Cardinals kind of been stuck here on 24 for a bit. Yes, they have. Bit. Well, for three minutes. We've come down and gotten, we've missed two point blankers down here. Nick up puts the roll line, but he's going to the free throw line. So now I can remember years ago when you used to have two tall guys in there, you might say it was the twin towers. Yeah. So when we got Haas and Jacobson on the floor, what, what are we gonna call them? Boy, <laughs> they're a little more than a tower. The tower I take to be tall and thin. Yeah. I don't think that. They're more like a monument of some sort. I was going to say. <laughs> an, an edifice. They look like those moais on Easter Island that are made out of brick and stone. <laughs> it's good minutes off the, off the bench there from Joe Haas, though. All right, Nick fires the second one, rolls it, and rattles it in. Third back up by a dozen. Lumen with Brookshaw. Good hands. Poke checked away, but they get it right back. And Lumen finishes. Mr. Jordan Lumen is, can play. He's always where the action is, yes, isn't he? he? Is. Well, as the coach's kid, usually they're ball rats. And he is. He's got a nose for it. He knows where to be. All right, tipped away. That's double dribble, isn't it? No, because he had a poke checked out of his hand. Yeah, I thought he dribbled after that. Now, Elbing. Yep. Oh, on top. Cardinals are just getting kind of sloppy with their offense. Yeah, offer. Seifert getting a little frustrated there. No need to do that when you got a 12-point lead. Well, he started out the game moving the ball, moving the ball, moving the ball. Now they're not moving the ball so a much. A more poke checking going on. Yep. Oh, Jake. Over the back. Second foul now on Nick Jacobson. One minute and 19 seconds to go in the first half. Cardinals up by 10, 25, 15. Five team fouls on the cards, four on the Warriors. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem right, but it like, it's like the Warriors are starting to get more physical with the, with the Cardinals, and you'd think that wouldn't be the, it'd be the other way around. Well, take a little bit for granted. Meyer with the ball on the wing. Back down to Monson, back out on top of Lumen. Stewart looking inside, not much there. One minute to go on the clock. Lumen surrounded by birds. The Rainmaker goes up, pacing with the rebound. Joe Haas in the lane. Ooh. Oh, nice. Joe, keep doing that. Nice Boy, touch. What a nice, nice touch. touch, yeah. Nice up. move to the basket, too. Man, is that going to make him a better football player? Meyer with the ball. <laughs> yeah. Stewart. Well, speeds up his feet. Oh, absolutely. Monson out on top. 18, 17. Waiting for Mr. Lumen to show up to want the pumpkin. All right, he's going to counter down. You know who's putting the shot up. 
And there it goes with one second on the clock. And halftime, 25, 15. Cardinals by 10 here at halftime on PCTV. We'll have our dance line ladies on here in just a minute, I guess. They are the conference winning. Palm and Jazz won gold in both. And again, I think we had two or three all-conference first teams, a couple honorable mention, and we'll be right back. We'll get this court cleared off. They'll be doing their jazz routine tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's rendition of the Prescott Cardinal 2012-13 dance team. Born in the summer of his 27th year Coming home to a place he'd never been before
filled up a parking lot With a pink hotel, a boutique and a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you've got till it's gone It pays paradise, put up a parking lot Coming back out of halftime here, folks. Cards up by 10, 25, 15 here. Broadcasting on PCTV, Channel 16, Channel 18 for us, Scott, Wisconsin. Quick Boston. scoring update, Dallas, after the first half. Uh, Jordan Lumen for the uh, Warriors had seven. Michael Elbing had five for the Cardinals. Uh, and leading all scorers, Nick Jacobson with eight points. Charlie Taysen with three. And Clay Seifert with five. 
a couple of other Cardinal players on uh, on the board, but those are the leading scores coming into the second half. Amory will get it out of bounds, down by 10 here, and we'll start the second half. Looks to be starters on the floor for both teams. Smith, Stewart, Monson, Elbing, and Lumen for the Warriors. Stewart puts up that rain ball. He gets a mark on that, baby, I'll tell you. Brookshaw, Seifert, Taysen, Helmer, and Jacobson on the floor for the Cardinals. All right, into Nick, in the lane. Charlie up and in. Nice speed, nice finish. That's more what we saw early in the first half. That's right, and I thought we were going to see more of that uh, going inside to Nick Jacobson and let him back down into the lane like that. But By the way, I have to apologize to Emily, who is watching us from some other part of the country, that you can't watch your dance line, girls, but uh, the coaches don't want them on the air because they're in competitive season. Our dance line won conference championships last weekend, first in Palm and Jazz. And, uh, I believe she's out on the West Coast, so... No, I think she's in Washington, D.C. or Washington State. One of the Washingtons, not sure. But hi, Em. How you doing? All right, Brookie with the ball. Cards by a does. Oh. That's no man's land yeah, there. That was a turnover. When you leave your feet. Lumen. Nice hustle by Alex right. Elmer, though. Seifert's got some help. Takes it to Taysen. Charlie does the stop and drop. Puts it in. Finishes it up. Cardinals by 14. Lumen works hard. All the time. Elbing puts it up, no good. Ball tipped, controlled by Seifert. Looking down the floor, it's not there. Oh, nice, nice, nice speed. Nice speed, nice finish. What great penetration that time by Seifert. Well, he put a move on out here at midcourt left that guy in the dust. All right, up to tight again. They keep firing up the three-pointers, but they haven't had a lot of luck with it. Made a couple early in the game. Helmer going over to Jacobson. Ooh, he's fouled by Cole Monson picking on him. 31-15, Cardinals by 16 here in the third quarter. Second foul now on Cole Monson. First team foul for either team here. On the way, auto return. We haven't exactly lit up the basket from the charity strip the last couple no, games. I was going to say, he's a pretty solid 50% field goal. And that just lowered his average. Well, last week, I think we made two out of our first eight on the night. And on the night, if we shot 50%, we were lucky. All right, and to Smith. Helbing. Lumen coming across the top. Nothing there. Helbing in the lane. Kicks it back out. Yeah, it was on, it's on Taysen. Foul on Charlie. 5.41 to go. Cardinals up by 16. 31 to 15 here on PCTV. Still on the way, no good. Mike bringing it down the left side into Nick. Puts up the soft touch, rolls it around and in. You get him up there without a bunch of spin on him, they'll just kind of hang around. 33-15, Cardinals by 18. Lumen into Lure. Lumen puts it up from outside. Jacobson with a rebound. Fishes it out to Cypher Clay. He's all by himself. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm kind of glad they called him on the travel because I thought he fouled the kid. Elvin Bishop. We got an official who agrees with us once in a while. Well, we never pick on them, so. 33-15, Cardinal by 18, 4.57 to go here in the third period. Jordan Lumen bringing it down the floor against Michael Brookshaw on the outside, Elbing. Elbing from the right corner. 
kicked out of bounds. Yeah, bodies all over the floor. I was going to say, it isn't for lack of effort on Amory's part. Yeah, boy, they kind of got a lid from the outside on their basket. Yeah. yeah. Cardinals doing a good job of running down those long rebounds. Well, we got height and size inside. Tough for them to do a heck of a lot. In boy, there. and when they put up this zone on, on the inbounds play. Tipped out by Clay. Warriors retain control. 33-15, 4.33 to go. Cardinals about to hold them scoreless for the first four minutes of the second half. They've had about six, eight shots, but they've all been long range, most of them anyway. Lumen. All right. Nope. Lure on the outside, rolls it around. No good. Rebound Elving. Dude, Elving. I'll tell you what, nice shot. Michael Elving for two. Helmer with the left hand. Oh, oh. oh, halfway down, all the way out. I Man, think it more than half. Yeah, I was going to say, it can't go any further down than that and still come out, can it? Only in <laughs> Dr. Sheldon Cooper's world. <laughs> all right, Smith looking for some place to go. Lure puts it up, hand on his shooting eye. Again, Casey with the rebound. Cardinal ball off of Smith. Again, it ain't for lack of effort. 33-17, 3.30 to go here in the third quarter. Fresh troops onto the floor for the Cardinals as Haas, uh, Soboleski, and Mike Hovel. Yep. They set that up for him, too, with three passes until Mike was standing there by himself. And I was watching Lumen trying to run around Joe Haas. Takes him two or three extra steps. Oh, well, it's well done. They set a couple nice screens, and Absolutely. then Mike ended up all by himself. One extra pass, 36-17, Cardinal by 19. Smith. Joe Haas Marshall with the block. block. by Haas. Up and in by Colin Schultz. Elbow jumper. No. In it goes. Michael Brookshaw. 38-19. Cardinals doubling them. Lumen. Outside. Schultz, Cole Monson, getting rid of it. Inside, that's a shot they got to have. Stewart. Trying to bounce it off the Warriors' leg. He moved his leg. All right, on the outside again. Here comes Monson, trying to slide one in there. Not as easy as it looks, and it's a hell of a ball, possession arrow Cardinal. 38-19, one foul apiece here, Barry, in yeah. the third quarter. And, and you know, they're kind of going after it down there underneath the basket, so only two fouls called here in the second half. Well, there hasn't been anything that hasn't been called that would impact the game, so right. actually a pretty good game Yeah. by the official. Alex got a finger on it there at the end. Down in the corner, Monson. Out on top to Elbing. Cypher with the rebound. Schultz putting that one up. The Hobel inside to Haas. Hobel, Monson facing him. Just got to get rid of the pumpkin. 
All right, safely down on top. Ball on Joel. Off the ball, we didn't exactly see it, but Joel can hide lots of things. If they're standing behind him, he can. <laughs> All right, Jordan Lumen back on the floor. 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cardinals up by 19, 38 to 19. Lure outside to Monson. Elbing. Lure puts it up off the front of the rim. Rebound, Seifert. 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Rebound. It's up and in. Michael Hobo with the putback. Right as the gun sounds to make it 40 to 19 here on PCTV here at the end of the third quarter. And we'll be back. National Bank of River Falls, the Prescott Branch, a full service bank up on the hill with time and temperature and a friendly staff for your banking needs. First National Bank of River Falls, Pro Insurance in the BMO Bank Building for full insurance coverage for home, auto, boat, snowmobile, motorcycle, anything you need. Stop and see Pro Insurance and Prescott Chiropractic. They'll help you get the kinks out and restore your life. All right, here we go, starting with the fourth quarter. Point four points in the third quarter for the Amory yeah. Warriors, Dallas. I was looking at that. It's like, whoa. Ooh. See who they call that one on. Charlie was right on top of the ball, unless they call that on Alex. Yeah. Yep. I agree. His second foul. Going to send Smith to the free throw line, 40 to 19, here in the fourth quarter. Rolls that one in. And makes it two. Three points for Smith, all from the charity line. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think there's too many other people in the gym who think that we're charging. No, but, I didn't but say. The I one, think, but I, the one that mattered did. I think that uh, Jacobson had kind of a legitimate gripe, although he he did kind of get him in the chops with that elbow. But you're gonna play with the big boys, right? Yeah. On so the he had his mouthpiece in. Elbing on the outside. To Stewart way on the outside. Drop down to Smith. Helmer keeping him at bay. They try and get through. Charlie steals it. All right. Cardinals pushing it down the floor. Into Jacobson. Ooh, he fakes the bunny. Charlie picks it up. Puts her back up. Rebound Monson. Again, we get two or three shots. Inside the fourth quarter. 6.50 to go. Cardinals by 19. Smith. Tayson with the rebound. 
Charlie wow. chases it down. You're going to call anything there? Time out. All right, that's the best thing. I didn't know you could fall on the guy, and it wasn't exactly a foul, but. Conscient Credit Union in the North Acres Business Plaza, a member-owned financial institution, and here we go. Cardinals ball out, 6.43 to go, 40-21 here in the fourth quarter. January 15, 2013, Brookshaw, they're going to try their press again. Oh, Lumen anticipate. oh, we missed a few of those, so tell you what, Jordan Lumen won't miss that too often. There hey, let's go. get it out down to our end of the floor. I like that. Bedford puts up the runner. Oh, who's in the net? Alex was. I'm surprised they didn't call that. Charlie fights the rebound. Could have been. Yeah. The ball was definitely in the cone. But they're probably not from Remulac, so. Beldar would have known better. <laughs> All right, Brookshaw on the outside. Oh, oh nice, he had a nice play. Uh, yeah. You got to admit, Stewart anticipating it. But again, you come right down the other end. It's a great defensive play by Seifert. Jacobson. Yeah, take that charge, out. I dare you. <laughs> back outside, over in the corner to Taysen. 5.50 to go. The lefty puts up the soft bunny. Alex having a nice game tonight. Lumen. Smith. Monson. Elbing going in among the Redwoods. Cardinals ball. <laughs> You gotta like them. They don't give up. That's right. They're scrappy. <laughs> I want to see one of those next textbook breaks, though, Dallas. That was so pretty. All right, Taysom with the ball over the timeline. Waits for his guard. That was a little close there. Elbing, Pester and Seifert. Cards way out on top with the ball. 42-21, Cardinals by 21. Poked away by Monson. Helmer. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it was a gorgeous drop step Yeah, it move. really was. It did not travel. No, gorgeous drop step move. We missed about a half a dozen of those point blankers tonight. Cypher, good hands. Oh, here we come again. Oh, again. There's another one. I mean. Yeah, we missed 10 of those tonight. We could be 40 points ahead. Yeah. But you know, the thing I've noticed is that the Warriors are really trying to get physical with the Cardinals here. You know, like if it were a 20-point lead, I think that would be a big mistake. I wouldn't want to make him mad. No. It's working. <laughs> well, I mean, they're probably in a pretty good mood because they're up by 21, but nope. if, if it was a tight. All right. Colin Bursick coming on the floor. Sophomore getting some time in. Mitchell Meyer, sophomore number 30, got some minutes in the first half. Bursick, ooh, dead on center, but a little short. So Wileski. Cypher to Brookshaw, pushing it down the floor. Mike puts up the runner. Lumen, he's got a nose for the ball. 
Colin Monson puts it in for two and gets fouled. Forty-two twenty-three, three fifty to go. Five fouls on the Cardinals, two on the Warriors. Jordan Koski on the floor for the Cards. Sobolewski, Haas, Helmer, Koski, and Brookshaw on the floor for the Cardinals. Lumen, Bursick, Monson, Luer, and Smith on the floor for the Warriors. I'd have fell over if I waited that long. Well, just everybody's different. I thought we were, I was looking for the metal arc women ball there. <laughs> yeah, but he could make those. Yeah, but you know the old rubber band. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Into Helmer on the outside. Sobolewski, Koski from 12. Nope. Rebound Smith, 42-23, 3.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. Smith on the outside. Alex sticking with him. Cardinals ball. Tell you what, Jordan Lumen had a couple guys to help him, a little better caliber. He's, he's yeah, he's, he's kind of a one-man band, I'll well, tell you. It, but he's, boy, he hustled. I like the way he plays exactly. ball. Exactly, and he's got the court sense to make a difference. You know, he, that Depe last week uh, was the same way. They've got court sense, and uh, they're in the middle of everything. Michael Hovel coming in the lane, back out to Koski. Sobolewski looking inside, nope. Koski, no one left, nope. Back out to Sobolewski again, inside three minutes. Cardinals up by 19. Mike Colville for three. Nope. Bursick with the rebound. Lumen coming down the floor. In the corner to Elbing. Nice move. Sobolewski with the rebound. Nice move by Justin Smith. On the baseline, had a good shot. Couldn't finish it, 2-11, 42-23. Oop, t Berry shuffle on the Cardinals. Warriors ball, 207. BCTV, Channel 16, broadcasting from Prescott High School. Channel 18, our flagship station, broadcasting from City Hall. If you've got information to get to the city, let us know at City Hall or Prescott High School. We'd be glad to run it for you. Prescott Area Historical Society uh, information running now on 16, along with uh, Freedom Park information. What else is going on? Some interesting things happening in town, historical-wise. Smith, Koski with his hand on top of the ball. Jake Peterson coming in, trying to get it up. Foul called on Koski. Foul on Koski. Not a shooting foul yet. Next one will be. 146 to go. Michael Reynolds in the game for the Warriors. Cardinal uh, Warrior ball yet. Oh. I don't think you want to try that. Joe Haas is big, but he can jump. He was a foot and a half or two off the floor going after that one. All right, Haas sitting right there on the block. Joe's got to turn around and take those. He will next year. Marty Harris out on top. Pestered by Elbing. Over to Haas. Joe on the right block, Ooh, puts it up and off. As you said, we have missed 10 of those. But once again, I'm just really impressed by the quick feed of these Cardinal big men. I know. Joe Haas. Zach Sobolewski chasing it down. I think maybe sometimes he's surprised he's so open. That it's like, hey, look at this. 
doesn't quite finish. Wow, what a nice. He's had a good game, Dallas, off the bench. Absolutely. Yeah, Zach got zapped. We'll see if they're going to. Yeah, he's hopping. He's had a he's had a bad leg for a couple weeks here. That has cost him some playing time. One minute to go. Koski into Haas. The boy Joe. That's the boy Joe Haas for two. Keeps that up. We'll make him a fullback next year. Well, we had a 300 and some pound fullback. Back in the dark ages. Paul Steen, 318 pound fullback of our state championship qualifying team. And we're going to Camp Randall Stadium and watching them. 44 23. Zankowski to the free throw line. 30 seconds to go here in the game. Only the third team foul on the Warriors here in the second half. Nobody shot one on one in the first half either. Nope. And it's been a fairly physical game. Yes, it has. But, but they're not swatting. Right. You know, uh, the physical game is more about bump stuff. They aren't calling. They aren't doing the reaching in, the swatting stuff that's so obvious. Koski up and in with that one. Out on top. Bursick put up again. Nope. Oh. Rebound Helmer. Wow. Don't get in the way of that elbow. Counting it down. Marty's just going to let the clock run out. And the final score will be the Cardinals 45. The Warriors 23 here on PCTV. Well, Barry, not exactly a, a scoring uh, deluge by well, any means. Cardinals scored as many points as they had to. Yep. Alex Helmer and Nick Jacobson. Uh, led all scores, both of those players with 10 points. Uh, Jordan Lumen was the leading scorer for the Warriors with seven. Uh, they just couldn't get it going here in the nope. second half. Nope. And the Cardinals just had too much firepower. Well, too big and too athletic. Um, I still, our Achilles heel as this year moves on is going to be that shooting. Because as you said, we missed 10 point blankers. Um, let's hope that we got about a month to fix that. Because the months from now, will play also be starting. And I tell you what, these, our guys are big, they're tall, they're talented. They've played tremendous defense and they hustle. But and they're yeah. in good shape. That's the other thing, too. The big yep. guys, uh, they can play a full game, it looks like to me. But you got to be able to put the pumpkin in the hole. I mean, that's still the name of this game. There ain't any style points or any of that kind of stuff. There ain't any judge. If that ball doesn't get in the hole, nothing happens. Well, PCTV bringing you live. Basketball will be home again with the boys on Friday night with Baldwin looking for revenge. Baldwin took us by 10 first game of the year, and we'll see what happens next time around here on PCTV. Well, for my sidekick, Barry Waters, my cameraman, Paul Most, this is Dallas Segas, and remember, in the words of the immortal Red Green, I'm pulling for you because we're all in this together, and good night. <laughs>